I think he is in better shape. I think Don and Tommy have taught him some things that he has perfected, that he will use, that he did not use last camp. And physically, Team Holyfield think he's even stronger. He's healthier, we've had no injuries. I didn't think camp could be better than last camp, and it has been. No question that Evander Holyfield is easily as motivated as he was on November the 9th. He want to prove that he's the very best in the history of the heavyweight division. Everybody says that the last fight was a fluke, and he's out to prove them wrong. I think it was a great performance that night. And this time, I would just be even better. Strategy was always going to be the key when two fighters of such pedigree and such contrasting styles finally came to meet. And it was Holyfield who mastered the tactical battle last time. No fear. A solid chin. Holyfield stamped his authority. He became the aggressor. His jab controlled the fight and his fast counter punches did the damage. I was throwing punches halfway, and um, he would beat me to the punch by extending his punch. Then we come forward, I would punch just be here, and he had to encounter me, he was just through. He had real fast counter punches, his first class counter punch, and it was awesome. So where did Tyson go so horribly wrong? He threw single shots. No quick combinations, no head movement. He stood square on, wide open to those counters. There was no effectiveness from Tyson's jab. The knockout didn't come, and he had no plan B. When the corner was needed, they too had no answer. I really thought I was just going over there and just obliviate him quickly, and they had no game plan. Will he have one for the rematch? Richard Giacchetti is back. Can he reorganize Tyson again? There's going to be motivation. There's going to be somebody to be able to tell him what to do and give him the right instructions and help him do the fight. But how much does Tyson himself want this? Was the postponement legitimate? Can he bring back those quick combinations that made him devastating? And if so, will Holyfield be able to cope? At 34, can he rise to the heights again? And will he put on such a skillful show? When you weigh everything up, Holyfield is the better technician, the better fighter. Tyson must prove himself this time. It could go early, it could go late, it could go either way. Tactically, it's the perfect clash. You got one guy on the big puncher, and you got one guy that's, you know, a skilled boxer. Mike Tyson weighs in at 218 pounds. 218 pounds. Yes, Tyson, 15 stone, 8 pounds, the lightest he's been since his release from jail. We'd heard he'd driven himself into great shape. Here was the proof. 218 pounds, the same weight for the champion, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. The ever serene Holyfield, exactly the same weight, but his heaviest ever, he says he's gone for extra leg strength and power. This was the last time they'll be together before they meet again in the ring. There's no doubt that Tyson, despite all he's achieved, has to prove here that he's not yesterday's man. But at least his fan club are in no doubt about the outcome. Tyson, Tyson! Get my shirt on! Tyson in five! Tyson in five! There's another guy here, what do you think? Tyson in seven. Is anybody a Holyfield fan here? Tyson. Tyson's going to knock him out in the third round. He's a great share. Richard J. Kelly's doing a great job and Tyson's going to knock him out. I have an edge, not because I won the fight, not because, uh, you know, I got the best of him. It's just what I believe in gives me the edge. I'm looking forward to knocking him out. My theory is to destroy or be destroyed and that's just... I love the theory and I love the way of life. This is a unique, rare and wonderful mixture of sports and emotion and passion that is going to be flowing that evening excitement and the pumping of your heart the adrenaline is flowing the momentum is so large you can cut it with a knife and it's growing by geometric progression so the excitement is in the air it is a contagion and everyone is becoming addicted